Hey, it's Daryl. It's Monday morning. Uh, I just wanted to make one more interesting point. Uh, I believe I believe at some point Trump and or the White House has been putting out that uh, certain that Iraq is cheering on that we did them a favor by uh, or he or Trump did them a favor by assassinating Soleimani. That uh, in fact Iraq is is happy with us and and. It's just uh, Iranian propaganda. Uh, yeah, this is these are this is why I don't trust Trump, um, and I don't trust the fact that he. Um, oh, little notice there. I don't trust the the fact uh, that he he's presented no evidence that Soleimani was was planning anything. That Soleimani looks in fact that he was going to meet the prime minister in Iraq. That it was a, a completely diplomatic uh, mission. So I, I don't believe a lot of what Trump says. Um, okay, going back to this thing that uh, supposedly Trump says that uh, Iraq people were cheering on America. <laughs> which is just ridiculous. Now, there may be some factions of Iraq, and let me tell you who that is. Um, Suleimani was a Shiite, Shiite, uh, Shiite Muslim, and you know he ran the Shiite militias, Shiite. ISIS is Sunni Muslim, the uh, enemy of the Shiite. Uh, and any any cheering on um, of Suleimani's death would be by ISIS-backed people, ISIS-backed factions. ISIS, in fact, would be the ones cheering on Trump's assassination of Suleimani. Yeah, that's 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 interesting, isn't it? But it's true because um, uh, Suleimani. I don't know. There, a lot of this stuff is is hush hush black ops stuff. But Suleimani, his enemy was ISIS, being from the two different factions uh, of Muslims, and um, that he would offer to, or we offered for him to help push ISIS. And in, in fact, there is there is there is records of of Suleimani pushing back ISIS into our into or out of Iraq. Uh, and, and, you know, working with the United States to help push ISIS out. Because as we know, ISIS is one of the most evil terrorist motherfuckers on earth here. But Suleimani, they were, they, Suleimani was, was an enemy of ISIS. Um, so yeah, anybody that's in Iraq now cheering on Suleimani's death is more than likely connected to ISIS. And uh, terrorists and uh, the Sunni factions uh, of ISIS. So just to put that into a little context, when when Trump puts out these tweets that um, people in Iraq are are happy that Suleimani's dead, let's just put that into context. Uh, more than likely, it's ISIS terrorists that are happy that Trump assassinated Suleimani. Uh, in general, the fact that the parliament, the, the parliament uh, voted to uh, kick us the hell out of Iraq, the United States out of Iraq, uh, that pretty much tells you right there. Um, you know, they're they're pretty much tired of the situation. They 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 don't want their country used as uh, the 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 field of play for the start of whatever I was going to say world war three. I'd rather not, I'd rather not keep using that term. Um, you know, then again, it could be just a series of, uh, I don't know what's going to happen. I've been trying to play out the, uh, play it out in my head. Um, I think there'll be a series of missile attacks and, and uh, terrorist attacks against U S interests, European interests, maybe Australian, just random, um, then missile attacks. I think Trump will respond with something probably bigger, probably hits inside Iran. And then where it goes from there is interesting. Um, to me, it doesn't look good. Like I said, that's, that's as far as I could figure the scenario. Um, I figure in the coming weeks, maybe they might wait a little while. Um, revenge is a dish best served cold, served cold as they say. Um, 
And, you know, and I imagine there'll be random terrorist attacks by the proxies of Iran. God knows where. It could be anywhere on Earth. Uh, Africa, Lebanon, Syria. Um, Iran has influence in all those countries. Um, in Europe, Europe would be a very easy, likely target for terrorist attacks uh, or servicemen or Germany. Germany could be a very likely uh, target. Um, like I said, and then Trump, Trump promises to respond to those situations with a lot of uh, with, with hitting their cultural, their mosques. And if that happens, uh, I, I can't imagine it not escalating into a large scale conflict. Would Russia jump in? I don't know. And then there's always the there, there's always in the back of my mind. I'm always wondering if the, the small players like Kim Jong Il sees that we're to, uh, Trump in America is all tied up with this situation over here, and it, it would be a good time for him to start pulling some shit, or China to start some shit, some more shit in uh, Hong Kong or uh, in Taiwan. You know, that, that's a, easily a scenario for World War III right there. But God knows which way it could go. Um, I mean, the way it's going now, it, it, there's only one, you know, it, it keeps escalating. Um, I, I can't imagine it turning good anytime soon. You know, I mean, no matter what, there's going to be, there's going to be uh, reprisals from Iran. I mean, we all see how much they... Uh, they're they're mourning this guy. It's like you know, it's like their president, their one of their beloved presidents, or one of our you know. If it was us, it would be like a president dying. They're gonna be pissed, and like and like uh, Bo says, they they have proxies all over the world, militias and factions all over Africa, on different continents, on different countries, that that are ready to die for Iran. We could you know, so basically. Trump, what basically, I guess, Trump has created enemies for American citizens around every corner around the world. Uh, the, the fact that he said that this assassination was to make Americans safer is uh, just, I mean, if it wasn't so scary, it'd be, it'd be hilarious. Um, nothing could be further from the truth as far as I could see. Um, if anything, like I said, it's created uh, it's created uh, shadow enemies around every corner around the world for American citizens and American servicemen, and it's probably going to go on for you know for years. The you know this this uh, reprisal from Iran, if we're all around for that long. <laughs> all right, you guys have a good day. Have a good Monday.